بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد The people of Iman are fortunate that their actions have repercussions on earth and in the heavens. If any area, any locality, azab is supposed to come, وما كان الله ليعذبهم وأنت فيهم وما كان الله معذبهم وهم يستغفرون. As long as this ummah is making toba, istighfar, turning to Allah subhanahu wa taala, they can ward off an azab and a calamity. Ibn Abbas used to say, كَانَ فِيهِمْ أَمَانًا We've got two forms of protection. One is the Nabi of Allah. Some ulama explain, even though Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam is not alive, but those people who read constantly durood will be protected from calamities and azab. And secondly, وَالْإِسْتِغْفَارِ فَذَهَبَ النَّبِي وَبَقِيَ الْإِسْتِغْفَارِ Although Nabi Alayhi Salaam is not here, we can still read Durood and definitely we have the door, the chapter of Istighfar. We should be turning to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala daily as much as our tongues can say Istighfar and practically reality in our lives, apply the awamir of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and abstain from guna and sin. But in the stobas as well, there is errors, there are flaws. First error is people delay in Tawbah, At-Takhir min At-Tawbah. Or people decide, you know what, let us do it slowly, let me take my time when there's a need, or make Tawbah from one guna and one guna. Alhamdulillah, that is good from one sin to another, but if a person sincerely makes Tawbah in their heart, we are hopeful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept their Tawbah and give them Tawfiq. Ibn Qayyim says, Al-Mubadara ila Tawbah min al-Dham fardun ala al-Fawr. That to rush towards Tawbah from sin, it is farz immediately. فَمَنْ أَخْرَى عَصَى بِالْتَأْخِيرِ So whoever delays it, there's a guna in delaying in Tawbah. فَإِذَا تَابُ مِنَ الذَّمْ بَقِ عَلَيْهِ تَوْبَ أُخْرَى If he makes Tawbah from sin, but he made Tawbah so late in his life, then he has to make Tawbah. What Tawbah? وَهُوَ تَوْبَةٌ مِّن تَأْخِيرِهِ مِنَ التَّوْبَةِ A Tawbah for delaying in the Tawbah. So if Allah gives somebody a Tawfiq, what the situation now, part of our Tawbah should be, our will should be in order, our Qazai Umri, details should be specific. We need to start making Qadha. We needed to be in contact with the ulama to learn the different Masail, to learn how to read Quran. There should be a revolution in our life after what? Mankind has rarely ever seen in history, we are witnessing, there's no sign left, there's no excuse left to motivate a person to make Toba and to change their life. So now is the opportunity, let us do that, but let us do it properly. Second issue is Al-Ghafla min at Toba. people are very negligent, they're very absent-minded, the importance and the priority of making Tawbah is not in people's hearts. وَأَسْتَغْفِرُكَ لِمَا لَا أَعْلَمْ Upon the Adiyah Masnuna, Ya la, I make dua from what I know and what I don't know. So sometimes there's negligence in our Tawbah, sometimes we don't even know what gunas, what sin we done wrong, whether it is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it is to the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma fillli ma qaddamtu wa ma akhartu wa ma a'lantu wa ma asrartu wa ma anta a'lamu minni. Ya Allah, whatever I did, knowingly, unknowingly, in the past, present, whatever flaws are in me, Ya Allah, you know it. Ya Allah, clean my slates. Ya Allah, obliterate me from all these forms of sins which will be block me down, block me from you. اللهم اغفر لي ذنبي دقه وجله واوله واخره واعسره وعلانيته دفن عديا مسنونا to make this توبه to make this istighfar but we shouldn't be غافل we shouldn't be negligent if a person gets توفيق then a person should make توبه number three ترك التوبه مخافة الرجوع إلى الذنوب a person doesn't make توبه because they worry I'm going to make توبه but I'm still going to go back to my sin no, if Allah gives somebody tawfiq, immediately make tawbah. We go back to us and make tawbah. Every individual 
makes flaws, we are prone to error. But when we make an error, sorry, maaf, I'm wrong. No matter how much times the child makes a mistake, but they censure and said, I made a mistake, I'm wrong. If an ordinary parent will forgive their child, what about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's like somebody who has a computer and they get a virus and they decide, you know what, let's keep the virus. Why? Because if I clean it up, more viruses are going to come. No, run the antivirus, clean up the system. But you still have the antivirus in the background to pick it up. So anytime I'm slipping, anytime I'm forgetting, anytime I'm ghafil, immediately I format my system. I format my life. We shouldn't have amnesia. You see, there was two elderly uh, couples and uh, the man went to go see the ladies. They both were widows. They were elderly. So he decided to propose to her. So he proposed to her. So next morning, he was very happy. He remembered he proposed to her, but he didn't remember. Did she say yes or no? So he decides to phone her. So he said, I'm sorry. I'm calling you. I'm very embarrassed. I proposed to you yesterday. Do you remember what answer you gave me? She said, it's good you phoned me because I know I accepted somebody's proposal yesterday, but I don't remember who. So conveniently, we have amnesia from Toba. Conveniently, we have amnesia for all the sons that we have. We should remember it and have grief. Number four, how from min lamz in nas. That a person's worried what people are going to say. Now you became pious. Now you became a buzrub. No. Number five, makhafatu sukuti al manzila. That a person is worried. Now he has high stature. He has a high reputation. Now people are seeing his change. He became a big hazard. He became a big hazard. Wala. So his status will be diminished. That's not an excuse. Number six, ila sa'at al rahmatillah. That a person rushes to sin because they see Allah is forgiven. Wa tamanna ala Allah al amani. That they Allah will forgive me. So he carries on guna and he perpetually is engaged in sin with the hope that Allah will forgive. Yes, Allah will forgive you, but don't hold that golden card in front of Allah to say, now I have a license to commit guna. That is tantamount to ignoring azmat and the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number seven, cigarism. Somebody commits guna, but they say, okay, I'll carry on. It's a small guna, it's guna, it's sagira, etc. No. Because ulama explain one guna will draw you. And if a person is uh, perpetual in that guna, then it is he has given greatness. Israel al dham kata'adhim al dham To continuously do a wrong, even though it's small, is like you giving honor and status to that. So how about you say, لا صغيرة ما إصرار ولا كبيرة ما الاستغفار that if a person commits a small sin and a perpetual and it's not a sagira and it is not a kabira with istighfar la sagirata ma'al israr wa la kabirata ma'al istighfar kya wat faham and understanding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave sahaba as Ali radiallahu anhu say some of the effect that whoever thinks he has done a big sin and he realizes it's a big, big son and he makes istighfar and toba, then he is humble and small in front of Allah. But somebody committed a small son and thinks it to be small, then in front of Allah he's a proud, he's an arrogant person. So we have to look at the azmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't look at the small of the son, but look at the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number eight, is al faraj bil maasiyah that a person sees openings and he sees opportunities in maasiyah wal farah al maasiyah and he sees pleasure in getting doing that sin so a person commits a sin he makes his sifar but he does another sin and he sees pleasure no at least if a person makes a mistake he should have that remorse and he should have that concern in his heart that what error did I make? This is my Allah, he has given me so much bounties. They say Luqman was a Hakim, a great wise person and he had a master and whenever the master used to get any good food, special gifts, he should call Luqman. So one day he called Luqman, 
he sliced the melon and he fed him and as every piece Lukman was eating he got more ecstasy and more pleasure and enjoyment there was one more last piece the master said hey, you know what Lukman is enjoying it so much let me taste it as well he took one Lukman and he could not tolerate the bitterness so after he regained his composure he said oh Lukman how could you have displayed so much pleasure when this melon is so bitter he said, oh, master, you've given me thousands of gifts. I was ashamed that the hand that gave me so much to show displeasure. So I showed pleasure. And since it came from your hand, it changed the bitterness into sweetness. So Allah subhanahu wa has given us so much bounties. We should not have the guts to commit sin and yet be boastful and proud and post it and share it but we should have that remorse and regret in our hearts conveniently when it's when we when it's other people's faults we're ready to find their faults and take it out and not pick but my own faults how much am i taking out so we should consider they say just two couples elderly couples traveling as they left a petrol station uh, uh, a few kilometers afterwards the wife said oh i left my glasses so the husband started moaning and screaming at her and he had to take a u-turn and he said you're gonna you spoiled our holiday you spoiled my day and i have to travel so far again we have to go back and he complained till they returned when they returned as she got out of the car he said just one more thing honey please bring my hat i forgot it on the same table you left your glasses I forgot it on the same table you left your glasses so it's easy to blame everybody else and find fault with everybody else i need to be finding fault with myself so sometimes through our weakness and our amal allah puts allah puts a big oppressor over a small oppressor i am a small oppressor and a big oppressor, whether it's our leaders, whether it's situations, whether it's halat, whether it is what is whatever it is around us, if we want to solve the problems around us, Allahumma li dhamb alladhi sallata alayya hadha. Oh Allah, forgive me the guna that I committed that you've put this leader over me, you've put this condition over me, you've put this situation over me, you've put this adab and calamity over me. Allahumma ghfir li dhamb alladhi sallata bihi alayya hadha that you've subjugated this makhluk of yours over me. Musa alayhi salam once there was no rain, Bani Israel was stressed and they asked Musa alayhi salam that please ask Allah ay yastasqiya lana that ask Allah that he must give us water. So now Musa alayhi salam said Ya Rabbana ighfir lana. Oh Allah forgive us. So they were shocked. They said Sa'alnaka an tas tas tasqiya lana. You, we ask Allah and we ask in you that we must get rain. Fatalabta al maghfira. You are asking Allah for forgiveness. You supposed to say Oh Allah amtir alayna. Oh Allah send rain on us. Fa'oh Allah ila Musa qul lahum إِذَا غَفَرْتُ الْعِبَادِ أَسْلَحْتُ لَهُمْ دُنْيَاهُمْ وَدِينَهُمْ That when I forgive my servants, that's why I make istighfar and tawbah, I will solve their dini problems and their dunyawi problems. They say tawbah is two types. Tawbah min Allah ala al-abd wa tawbah min al-abd ila Allah. One is Allah turns his attention to the creation. One is the creation turns the attention to Allah. But ulama explain al inaba qabla al wilaya that thus Allah is turning to us. That's what we need. We need to show Allah's bounty. We need to get tawfiq. We need to draw Allah's help to make tawbah, to repent, to change, to come close to Him. So inaba comes, inclining comes before wilaya, before we become the friends of Allah. A tawbah min Allah. We need to draw the tawbah from Allah. Thumma taba alayhim liyatubu. That Allah's tawajju, special mercy was on them. Then they got tawfiq. So we need to be crying. That if I've not stopped sinning, I've, I'm brazen with the awamir of Allah. I'm breaking Allah's commands. Then I need to be concerned. Yu'afaku anhu man ufik. 
He is made to turn away the one who averts himself. Whoever is averting from Allah and persistent on disobedience, Allah turns him away. Allah doesn't give him tawfiq to make that tawbah. So, so I explain that firstly, we need to have regret on the guna by staying away. Secondly, that we intend firmly, I will not go back to it, and we are every istighfar on our tongues. والخروج من سائر الجهل بالتعلم ما لا بد. Now we go to the ulama, we go to the mashayikh, we go to those people that will draw us close to Allah. Then number four, رد المظالم. Now whoever we oppressed, whoever we did wrong, whatever salat we never read, we fulfill that shortfall. وتهجر إخوانك السوء. Then you stay away far from friends. Company, environment that will take you to that sin. So, Imam Ghazali used to say, a evil friend is worse than a evil, bad, dangerous, poisonous snake. Why? He said, if a snake bites you, you can lose your life. If that evil friend bites you, lose your iman. And then he gave an explanation. He said, a, a evil friend, how he is so harmful, he is even worse than Iblis. Why? Because Iblis just gives you wasawis and whispers. But Shaitan, that's his limitation. But a friend, not only he will whisper in your ears, he will not send you messages, he will motivate you to do wrong, and he will take you to those places which are wrong. Then, وَتَسْلُحْ مَطْعَمَكَ وَثِيَابَكَ That your eating habits, we need to make sure we eat halal, we read the adiyya, and our clothing, etc. Everything is halal, otherwise our du'as are not accepted. And وَتُكْثِرْ مِنَ الْبُكَى عَلَى مَا مَضَى And you increase in crying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you increase your tears to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you increase your repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are days where there's a great need to make istighfar in tawbah, at least minimum time, 100 morning and evening, let us make istighfar. مَثَلُ mu'min. وَمَثَلُ الْإِيمَانِ كَمَثَلِ الْفَرَسِ فِي آخِيَتِهِ Like how a horse is tied and it rides to a distance and the rope blocks it, now it goes back to the stick. Cannot go further than that. وَإِنَّ الْمُؤْمِنَ يَسْهُ ثُمَّ يَرْجِعْ A believer also when he makes an error, he turns back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَاتْعِمُوا طَعَامَكُمُ الْأَتْقِيَا Make sure your friends and your companions are the pious Allah walas because that will bring a lot of blessings, barakat, and give you tawfiq to making tawbah. Wa ulu ma'rufakumul mu'minin. And those people who you know their iman is strong, spend your time in their company. Last we did Allahumma ajirni min an nar seven times, some riwayah three, some seven times also. We should ask Allah for Jannah. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-Jannah. Three times or seven times after we read Allahumma jirni min al-Nar or another time. Let us ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Jannah. When a person makes this year, قَالَتِ الْجَنَّةِ Jannah says, Allahumma dakhilhu al-Jannah. Oh Allah, this person is asking for Jannah. Jannah makes dua for him. O oh Allah, enter him into Jannah. Wa akhiru ta'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.